Dr. Ashton, <laughs> we missed you the last couple of days. Ditto. The two of us cut up while really? you were gone. We really did. Yeah, mm -hmm. I felt it. Um, the DC, afar. I did. <laughs> <laughs> we have the questions from our viewers now. Here's the first one. Is there any risk of getting a serious COVID-19 infection after being vaccinated? Well, first of all, it depends what vaccine you're talking about. Johnson & Johnson, 100% effective at preventing hospitalizations and deaths. So in theory, those are, by definition, the serious COVID-19 infections. Pfizer and Moderna, 94-95% uh, effective at preventing severe illness. So the short answer is yes, but it depends which vaccine. And there's always a small, small chance of serious infection. But really, these small. vaccines have outperformed expectations in terms of their clini clinical efficacy. And 94-95, uh, 100%, you can't ask for better than that. Uh, yeah, that is certainly good to keep in mind. All right, this is a good question. What vaccine side effects should we be worried about or talk to a doctor about? I think, first of all, trust your gut, trust your instinct. No one knows your body better than you do. But in general, I like to say to, to my real patients, uh, serious things tend to get worse with time. They don't get better on their own. So that's really important. If after a couple of days, whatever symptom you're noticing is getting worse, not better, that's when you want to reach out and get some uh, medical evaluation. All right, thank you, Dr. Jen. And you can submit your questions to Dr. Jen on our Instagram at Dr. J. Ashton. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.